Hey, it's Andrea, and welcome back to part two of Ways to Upcycle your old t-shirts that just sit at the bottom of your closet because you don't wear them anymore. I'm going to show you how to transform them into new styles or just new things that you can use, and all of these are so easy to make. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys how to make is this really simple slashed back tank top. It's so easy. All you have to do is just start by finding a shirt that you don't mind cutting up, and then afterwards, I'm going to start by cutting off the sleeves. And then after I cut the sleeves, I'm going to go ahead and stretch them. And by stretching them, you just kind of get rid of those rough edges. It'll kind of roll them inwards to make it look cleaner. And then I'm going to flip it around. And then I'm going to take the neck and I'm just going to kind of fold it in half the other way, like so. This way I have the back folded facing towards me. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to start by cutting one slash like an inch below the neckline. Then after that, I'm gonna make another cut a little bit longer than the one before. I'm gonna keep making cuts a little bit longer than the one before. And so they're gonna get longer and longer all the way till you get to the very bottom of the shirt. And this is what it will look like. And then afterwards, I'm gonna kind of tug on these little slashes to give it that stringy look. And I'm gonna do that to every single one of them. But don't tug too hard because you might rip one off and that will not look as good. So be careful. And then afterwards, all you wanna do is just try it on and you're done. It's so easy. You can wear it with your little shorts, your bathing suit, whatever. And the next thing I'm gonna show you actually starts off with those slashes and it's called laddering. And all you wanna do is just take the very first string of the row. And what you wanna do is just take it and twist it like so and it will give you this little loop looking shape and then afterwards take the string directly underneath pull it through that loop like you see me doing and then twist and then hold take the string directly under that pull it through the hoop twist and hold twist and hold twist and hold Keep twisting and holding it all the way down the shirt. And once you get like midway down the shirt, even if it's your first time, you're gonna be speed racing it through because it's actually so easy. And then once you get to the very bottom, it'll give you this little loop like this. Just take your scissors, cut that loop open, like so, eh, cut. And then you just wanna tie that in a knot. You might wanna double knot, this way it doesn't come out ever again. Then after you secure it with a knot at the bottom, this is what it looks like. And you don't have to just stick with one row of the little loopy designs. You can move to the right or to the left and you can continue on doing as many as you want to depending on how much room you have to continue doing your loopy designs that people call laddering. So that's all you do. It's super duper simple. Okay, and then for the third and final way to show you how to cut your back of the shirt, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it in half again, like I did before. You can use a pen. I'm gonna use some chalk because it's easy to get out, and I'm gonna go ahead and trace a shape. Now, I'm gonna go with a heart because a heart is the symbol of love. And with my scissors, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the heart, and then afterwards, I have this material. You can use whatever material you want to. I'm gonna go with this lace that I have from a dress that I bought and I never wore and I never will. And I mean, it looks cute, but it's, it doesn't fit right. Anyways, I'm gonna take this chunk of pink lace from the dress and I'm just kind of making sure it fits over the heart and then I'm gonna flip my shirt inside out and then with some fabric glue, I'm going to surround the heart with the fabric glue. I'm using fabric glue because I'm just not a sewer. If you like to sew, then you can use that or if you have a fabric, bleh, fabric glue gun, you can use that as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and place my lace over the glue and I'm gonna let it dry, but I'm gonna also cut off the excess from the corners and stuff like that. So I don't have a bunch of fabric on my back. Watch it in my back. All right, afterwards, I'm gonna flip my shirt inside out after it's dry, and this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna cut the sleeves off too because I just felt like it should be a tank top. And you can leave it like this. You see, it's like sheer, and you can, you know, maybe wear like a nice cute bra or no bra. I mean, however you wanna do it. Now, another option, if you want something to kind of decorate the heart, you can take 
maybe metal studs and you can stick them around or you can put more lace around. What I did in this video was I just took three you know, strips of fabric from another t-shirt and I went ahead and I braided it. And then after I braided it, I just kind of wrapped it around the edge of the heart and I had to make two of these braids, um, one for one edge and the other for another edge. And I just glued them on. And it just kind of gives it something extra to make it a little bit more interesting, something to kind of frame the heart if the heart is too plain for you or just leave it as is. Now the next thing is a ring holder. Now this thing is so awesome. You need a box, a small box or a big box, I guess. Mine carried this pretty little scented soap that I love so much. And, but when you take it out, you know, I mean, you're just gonna throw your box away. No, don't throw it away. We can use it. All you do is just take a t-shirt, cut strips of it that match the width of whatever box you're using, like so. Then afterwards, lay the strip down and just start to roll it into a roll. <laughs> and it will look something like this. And just keep making a bunch of rolls until you fill up all of the box. And you don't need glue or anything like that. It holds rather well, but if you want to use glue, you can. Then once your box is filled up, then just get your rings and you can stick them in the cracks of the rolls. And it holds, it's, it holds, it's awesome. I mean, this is like my favorite thing in the world right now. Okay, not in the world, but it's awesome. You can put it anywhere, put it, you know, on your nightstand or something. I don't know, where do you guys keep jewelry holders? All of that from a t-shirt. Now, the next thing is a braided headband. You can wear this out, wear it to a festival, wear it somewhere. Um, all you do is just cut three strips from your shirt. And I'm gonna use brown because it kind of matches my hair, but you can use bright colors, white, you can mix and match. Get a hair tie like this one and just take all three of the strips and knot them onto the hair tie. And I'm gonna go ahead and double knot so that it doesn't come loose. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the little, you know, edges from the knot with my scissors just to kind of clean it up and stuff. And then afterwards, I'm gonna take and braid the three strands all together like so. And then once I get to the end of my braid, I'm gonna leave a little bit of strand left. This way I can go ahead and tie the other end of the knot to the other end of the hair tie. And this is what it should look like when you're all finished. And you have a little stretchy braided headband that has a little give to it. And you can wrap it around your head like a halo or you can put it on top of your head. I mean, you can wear it however you want to. You can do a four strand braid. It's super simple. It doesn't cost you anything. And that is it for this video today. So let me know which one was your favorite out of all of these different things. And also don't forget to Instagram me pictures of things that you create with your old t-shirts at hashtag Andrew's Choice. And I'll check it out. And I'll see you guys soon. Let me know if you want a part three. Okay, I love you. Bye. <laughs>